What's up everyone, I'm Tyran Tartube, a graduate here at the Kent University, and this is the Yancey slash Curtis Guide. So the first step is to fly to Nambasa City and come to this exact location to find the dropped item. This item is actually an ex-transceiver that belongs to either Yancey or Curtis depending on your own gender. If you're playing as the male protagonist, then the owner of the ex-transceiver will be Yancey, and if you're playing as the female protagonist, then the owner will be Curtis. Now there are a few differences between Yancey and Curtis, but I'll get to that in a bit. The whole point of the side quest is so that you can obtain Pokemon that you can't normally get in the game, such as Togepi, Spinda, Teddy Ursa, Spiritomb, and Snorlax. So the first step is to fly to 10 of the 15 locations I show in this video. If you follow my lead and stand on the exact tile that I do in each of these locations, then you'll get a call from either Yancey or Curtis. Now they will only call you if you stand on 15 tiles in the entire map of Unova. These locations are Route 5, 6, 7, 9, 11, 12, 13, and 14, Nambasa, Mistralon, and Dripvale City, and Lacunosa, Lentimus, and Undela Town. You only need them to call you 10 times out of 15 different locations, so if you're finding it difficult to get to one of these locations, then try another one. She'll mention a variety of topics over these 10 calls, such as music, hobbies, and similar interests, but nobody really cares about what she says, but it shows you that she gets a bit more comfortable around you. On the 10th call, she'll request to meet you in Nambasa City by the ferris wheel to pick up her ex transceiver. Just as a quick reminder, be sure to stand on the exact spots that I stand on because Yancey won't call you unless you're on one of these 15 spots. When you meet up with Yancey after the 10th call in front of the Nambasa City ferris wheel, she'll act a bit shy and attempt to hide her identity. After returning the ex transceiver, she'll register you in it and head back off to work. Now your job is to call Yancey another 40 times, but it's not that easy. You're gonna have to travel to all 15 locations that you had to travel to before to get her to call you. This is the patient part of the Yancey and Curtis side quest, and if you work properly, you should be able to get this entire thing done within 45 minutes. Here's a trick. If you're in a location surrounded by areas you can call Yancey from, travel to each of them before flying to other possible towns. For example, I can check if Yancey can be called from Mr. Lon City, then head north to the next route to see if I can call her from there too because both locations are locations you can call Yancey from. You can also pair Nambasa City and Route 5 together, Driftvale City and Route 6 together, and Lacunosa Town and Route 13 together. On the 30th call, she'll ask you to meet in front of Nambasa City in front of the ferris wheel again, but this time she kinda forces you to go on the ferris wheel with her. Now at this point, if you've already beaten the Elite Four, then you can actually trade with Yancey right now. You're just gonna have to wait a day before your first call in between every trade. After riding the ferris wheel with her, it's back to calling her another 20 times. Now this part of the side quest doesn't matter, but doing it completes the side quest completely. If you pay close attention, you'll notice that after the 30th call, Yancey's sprite will begin to blush each time you talk to her. And you'll notice that she also talks about other regions like eating Rage candy bars and Johto. A few calls later, the sound will begin to break up, and on the 40th call, it will be a sound only call. Call Yancey another 10 times, and on the 50th call, she'll accidentally answer in her work clothes. She'll cut the line, and when you call her back, she'll be in her normal clothes again. She'll invite you to Nabasa City to go on the ferris wheel with her. After going on the ferris wheel, if you've defeated the Elite Four, then she'll offer you a trade. If not, then she'll just go back to work. You can only trade with Yancey once a day, so if you're kinda desperate, then you can just set the time to 11.59. And in case you didn't know, you can actually trade with Yancey as many times as you want and you can obtain the same Pokemon again and again. This means you can get that Spiritomb you always wanted again and again at level 50. But that's for another video. And that's the entire Yancey slash Curtis side quest. If you found this video helpful, then be sure to subscribe to Kanto University for some more helpful videos.